Hey guys, today we're at Cooper's Pond in Northvale, and I'm starting off a little night crawl because I, I fished this place before, but never did I ever catch anything. And if I use a night crawler, I'll maybe something get something to hit because everything loves night crawlers in freshwater. So hopefully I'll, I'll get something for you guys. Be back when we catch a fish. Oh yeah, baby. First fish from Cooper's Pond. A miniature largemouth bass. That's what I, we've been here for two days with no fish and we finally got our first result from this pond. The tiniest bass I've probably like ever seen from a pond. Look at this guy. Hey, but you know what? It's a fish. That's all I have to say. We haven't we're not skunked today and hopefully we'll get one of the big bass in here. Now let's get a good release on this guy. Oh, here, let me put the camera up for you guys. Ah! <laughs> Why I went insane was because we were fishing here for three hours yesterday, today, trying to throw these ankles. All we've been seeing is these bass just jump out of the water every two seconds. Every second we would see these bass. I finally caught like, I finally caught like a little baby, I caught like a baby, baby, baby uh, bass that was like really miniature. And all of a sudden I cast and I get this, oh look at those geese over there. I finally cast, I get this little brown bullhead. I'm so happy. I never even, I didn't think there was fish in here. All right, guys. So we got this little brown bullhead. Uh, well, I think it's brown bullhead. Let me see. This is the black chin whiskers. So I think it's a brown bullhead. It's trying to bite down on me. All right, let's get the release. There he goes. Brown bullhead at Cooper's Pond, Northville. All right, well, we got a, oh. we got an even, we got a bigger, oh, okay. We got a bigger largemouth bass than last time. I think it might be gut hook, so we're just going to get the pliers. This is a decent size uh, bass for the ones we've been trying to go up, Mike. You're getting bites? Oh, you're right. I would leave it. All right, he's just barely, barely got hooked. I could definitely get this out. There we go. That was, he was, I don't even think, oh wow, Mike, you are getting pretty good bites. This guy was barely got hooked, um, but it's, it's, it's a decent sized bass for what we've been catching today. Let's just get a nice release on him. All right. Mike's hooked up with a little catfish here. And, oh wow, nice. Dude, that's really small. Yeah. <laughs> God. Release him. Mike's gonna get his release on his little catfish. There we go. I got something here. Oh, see? Whoa, what is wrong with these things? Oh. Here. Oh my God. We weren't even here. All right, listen, guys, you understand this. We were here for like three hours just fishing for bass, right? All of a sudden, we didn't know how good this pond is for these tiny bullheads. This has been some great fishing right now, you know? This is like, it's pretty cool. Look at this guy. Small, but like. And pumpkin seed. That's a bluegill. All right, we got this tiny little brown bullhead, and look, his tail's red. That might be might be mean they're spawning now. But look, we got a little tiny brown bullhead at Cooper's Pond. Mike's just hooked up with amazing-looking bluegill. 
Wow, dude, that thing's beautiful. Oh. Guys, this is crazy. You just throw that in there and you catch it. This is probably the biggest one of the day right here. You know, these aren't quality bullheads. These are really, really small. But, you know, you catch them like every cast here. The fishing really picked up. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, oh, wow. See, that, guys, look, you got to be really careful. Look, look what this thing did to me right here. I mean, these, oh, God. Ah, that really hurt. Alright guys, we got a nice little brown bullhead. And he actually stung me, but here, I get the release. Mike hooked up with another catfish. I'm still recovering from that one that stung me. I mean, those things really hurt, but what are you gonna do? We're gonna get back to fishing. Mike caught this nice catfish, and I seem to be hooked up with one too. Ooh, whoa, that's a nicer one. Actually, it isn't. These things are just fighters. Look, I mean, they all seem to be the same size. There's about like a million in here. Oh, wow, we didn't, we got, oh, wow. We don't got a, we got a bluegill this time. Sorry about that, Mike. I got wrapped up in this line, but, um, almost gone. Let me, can I just unhook him real quick, Mike? We got a nice little bluegill, but, um, the catfish bites slowed down a little bit, but, yeah, Mike, I think you are getting bites. Here you go. I'm starting to... V All right. Yeah. The bite slowed down, but I guess it picked up a little bit. We got another little tiny catfish. Now, these guys have been, I, I, I've been really scared to handle this because as you can see in the last video, no, not the last video, the last clip, I, um, it actually stabbed me and it really, 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 really hurt. Like, I see it online videos about like how it stabs people, but like, I never knew the actual pain about it, but we're just gonna, Alright guys, Mike just lost a little catfish, but this is our little catfish. We're going to get a nice release on it. There he goes. Oh, 